Frontier Airlines and Spirit Airlines, the two largest discount carriers in the U.S., have agreed to merge in a deal valued at $6.6 6 billion, creating what would become the fifth largest airline in the country. The merger gives Denver-based Frontier Airlines a 51.5% controlling stake in the combined airline. Spirit investors will receive 1. 9,126 shares of Frontier plus $2.13 in cash for each share they own, giving Spirit shareholders an implied value of $25. Eighty three per share, which is a nineteen per cent premium over the value of Spirit shares at the end of last week, the companies said. The transaction is centered around creating an aggressive low fare competitor that will better serve guests, expand career opportunities for our team members, and create value for our SH. We believe we are a perfect fit with Frontier. Our businesses share similar values including our long-standing commitment to affordable travel. The boards of both companies approved the deal over the weekend. It would be the first merger of large U.S. airlines since Alaska Airlines' combination with Virgin America in 2016 and a test of the Biden administration's tolerance for consolidation, particularly among airlines one of the most scrutinized industries by antitrust regulators. Spirit's shares soared more than 17% after the deal was announced, closing at $25.46, while Frontiers ended the day $12.82 up 3.5%. Frontier Chairman Bill Frank, a longtime discount airline investor and executive, will chair the combined company, which he said will create America's most competitive ultra-low fare airline for the benefit of consumers. The companies didn't announce the new name of the combined carrier, the CEO or location of the airline's headquarters. Those questions will be answered by a committee led by Frank after the transaction closes which is expected in the second half of the year, pending regulatory and shareholder approval. Labor unions were informed early Monday, the airlines said. Pilots at Frontier and Spirit are represented by the same union, as are the two airlines' flight attendants. The deal comes as carriers are still struggling to recover from the pandemic. 